time is that? Howdy It's the 2,206th Howdy Doody Show, starring Howdy Doody and Bubble Bob Smith. Boys and girls, howdy! howdy! Well, you know, kids, many, many strange things have happened here in Dutyville in the past, but I wanted you to know something. The strangest thing of all happened this past week, and I'll tell you about it in just a minute. But first, I want to say that I hope that all of you boys and girls have mailed in your Howdy Doody Smile Contest ballots. Because next Saturday, we're going to have our grand prize winner right here on the Howdy Doody Show, whoever it might be. Well, it's going to be your votes now, kids, that will determine who the grand prize winner will be. Well, I'll tell you a little later about our big contest, but right now. Kids, I'd like to tell you about the most amazing thing that happened to me last week. I wonder, have all of you boys and girls either heard or read the story about Tom Thumb? Do you all know that? Yeah! You do? Well, good, because Tom Thumb, you know, was a very, very small person. As a matter of fact, Tom Thumb was... Oh, he wasn't... Hardly any larger than this little fella's thumb. And as a matter of fact, I... Oh, excuse me, kids. Clarabelle's calling. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, Clarabelle? Yeah, what do you want? Well, what happened to you? Well, you're little. Look at him. Well, kids, he's very little. What'd you say? Thumb. Oh, oh you're Tom Thumb. Oh, now, Clarabelle, stop that fooling around. I'm trying to tell the kids a story, and you fool around. Now, come on. How old are you, anyway? <laughs> Wow. Look, why don't you quit fooling around, Clarabelle? Now, do me a favor, would you please? Stop being silly, grow up. I say stop being silly and grow up. <laughs> Excuse me, kids, I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you the story, but that clown is always clowning around. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you about the most amazing thing that happened to me last week. Now, did all you kids hear or read about the... Tom Thumb? Yeah. You did. All right. Well, Tom Thumb was a very small man. As a matter of fact, he was hardly any larger than this little fella's thumb. And, oh, wait a minute. I told you all that, didn't I? Yeah. That Clarabelle. He gets me all mixed up. He, he's so silly that I just forget what I'm talking about. I just wish one thing. I wish that Clarabelle would finally grow up. Well, anyway, I... <laughs> Clarabelle, you did grow up. When I said grow up, I didn't mean grow up so high. I, 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 I. Oh, still, it's just another silly Clarabelle trick. That's oh, all it is. Oh, 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 oh. Told you it worked. <laughs> he should have stayed home today. Well, kids, would you <laughs> would you believe that I could become as small as Tom Thumb? Well, I want to tell you what happened. You'll find out. Kids, it all started when Mr. Bluster met Pesky. You know Pesky. He's that mean, mean clown, and he met him in Dutyville Park. <laughs> Mr. Bluster, what's cooking in Dutyville? Oh, hello there, Pesky. I uh, say, you're looking pretty good. Uh, thanks. You've grown, haven't you? Me? Nah, I'm the same. 165 pounds. I've been that way. Uh, you are years. not. Yeah. You weigh 175 and one half pounds. Go on, I don't weigh that. Look, there's a scale here. I say I weigh 165 pounds. You don't know what you're talking about. Let me put the tape. Hey, 175 and a half. Just, just what you said. You were right. Hey, Phineas, how do you do that? Well, I'm very good at guessing people's weight. I never miss. Hey, wait a minute. From now on, you and I are in business. Uh, what do you mean? 
Uh, you'll find out. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, how, gentlemen, Calabonga. Listen, speaking of how, what? how would you like to win a prize? <laughs> oh, Calabonga, sure. What well, prize? Let me, let me, let me give you. Hey, wait a minute. That, that's my watch. Oh. Now you, you, you can't hey, give that away. Hey, Look, didn't you say you were always right? Now be quiet. Say, uh, here's the deal, Thunder Thud. If uh. Mr. Bluster, that's him, oh. if he guesses how much you weigh and he guesses right. You gotta pay us a dollar. Oh, but Calabonga, what, what if he not gets it? The beautiful gold watch, free. Calabonga, I agree to that. All uh, right, go ahead, Lester. Guess this way. All right. Uh, uh, turn around there. Turn around. Uh, that's the way. Now, let me see. You see your front there, the back of the over five. Well, I'd say that you weigh about uh, 182 pounds. Oh. Okay. <laughs> be on Me, Thin Indian. Indian. What? You, Thin Indian. We'll see. Uh, Calabonga, got to put my own penny in. Certainly. Cost you dollar one. Uh, ah, there we are. You were... Oh, Bonga, 182 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guessed right. But I didn't bring any money. I'll send it to you. You can I'll pay me later. Hey, Thin This is only the beginning, Thin. Say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a great idea. <laughs> oh, we'll be rich. Yeah, that's gonna... Dissolve in three parts of... Oh, oh hi, Pesky. Oh, I finished. Yeah. Oh, yeast. My mother's coming over today, Buffalo Emma. Yeah. Gonna bake some fasna keekly. What? And kuchen. And I had to get some yeast from sounds, the store. Sounds fattening. Very but, good. Yeah. Listen, speaking of weight and all that stuff, yeah. you know, uh, how would you like to win this nice gold watch? Beautiful watch. I'd love to win it. How do I win it? Oh. Look, Phineas will guess how much you weigh, see? Yeah. Now, if he guesses wrong, the watch is yours. Very good. Now, if he's right, you got to pay us a dollar. If he guesses right, yeah. I pay him a dollar. Yep. If he guesses wrong, I get the gold watch. Okay, it's a deal. All right, what happened? Uh, 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 turn around there. Yeah. Turn around, yeah. yeah. Take a look. Oh, let me you. see. Uh, you're pretty well padded, aren't yeah, you? <laughs> no, it's not me. 194 pounds. 194? Yeah, so he said he never <laughs> run. Give me the watch, buddy. You're wrong. I weigh 175. Just 170. Now, he never right. guesses wrong. Step oh. on the scale. We'll just find out. He says what? 194? Yes, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> You say 175. Well, huh? I know I weigh 175 because I just got weighed last night. I know exactly what I weigh. And it says so right here. I. What? What does it say? 205. Uh, 205. I must have gotten big. I, I, I thought I weighed 175. You have <laughs> well, you don't. Give us a dollar. Well, all right. Here's your dollar. I... Wait just a minute. What's matter? You still guessed wrong. Huh? You said 194, I weighed 205. I'm bigger than you said, so <laughs> I get the watch. So well, long. Uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, wait a minute, that's unfair. Uh, I mean, you. He must have had horseshoes in his pocket. Oh, you're a great guesser, boy. Well, really never mind. mind. I, I want to get that watch back. Uh, oh, let's think of something. <laughs> Got a little something for you, Hobby. Got a little present. A nice gold watch oh, here. Oh, boy, thanks, Buffalo Bob, but, but why do you look so unhappy? Hobby, I gotta be unhappy. I just realized that I've... I've grown a lot. None of my clothes are gonna fit me anymore, and that's not good. Oh, well, you're sure. really in luck, Buffalo Bob, because look, I've just finished inventing a machine. A machine that can make people smaller. Here, oh. take a look. Well, gladly. Here, let me take the drapery off, Hobby. Let me see. I. Well, what's this, Hobby? Well, what is it's it? It's called the Howdy Doody Shrinker. Howdy Doody Shrinker. Well, this can, can this get me back to my normal oh, size? Oh, boy, sure, Buffalo Bob. Hey. And you see, all you do is to set the dial for the size you want. Oh, well, there you yeah. are. And when the bell rings, you'll be down to your correct size, yeah. and then you come out. Hey, great. Can I try it now? How do you... Can I do it oh, right away? Oh, sure, Buffalo Bob. Go ahead. All right, let me see. Be uh, careful, though, that you set the dial to the right size. The right size. Now, I should weigh 175. That's my normal... Now, wait a minute here. Here, I'll set this to uh, 175. There. 175 pounds. Now, I guess I put this stuff on and get right in the shrinker, huh? Well, that's great. Uh, Tell me one thing, Howdy. How, uh, 
Uh, how long will this thing take? Oh, eh? Only about five minutes. Oh, well, it's great. All right, I'll see you in five minutes, Howdy. You go ahead and oh, do whatever okay, you're going to do. I'll be back. I'll get down the machine here, and I'll go down to one, seven, five. Here we go. Size you set this dial, that's the size he'll be when he comes out of there. No, oh, so what? Yeah. All I care about is my watch. Yeah, well, all I care about is cutting that Buffalo Bob down to size, and this is my chance. I'm gonna set this dial so that when he comes out, he'll be no bigger than than than, than this. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> that ought to shrink that swelled head of his. <laughs> You do this, Pesky, and you'll be the biggest man in Dutyville. I already am the biggest man in Dutyville, Phineas. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Now that I've taken care of Buffalo Bob, everybody's gonna jump for Pesky. <laughs> Boys and girls, believe me, when Pesky fooled around with the dials there and that Howdy Doody shrinker, that was one of the meanest tricks that he ever played in his life. And wait, kids, till you see what happened to me when I came out of that box. Well, I... Oh, hi, Clarabelle. You got a camera. I know. You're going to take the camera on the trip that you make around the United States with the Howdy Doody smile winner, huh? Well, that's great. You know how to use it. Well, have you, have you made any pictures? Where's one? Look right in here and we'll see a picture that you took. I don't... Oh, there it is. Well, I... Oh, Clarabelle, those aren't good pictures. You took those pictures... Of... Oh, wait a minute. I know who that is. That's Dick Button, the championship skater. Yes, sir. Hey, kids, there's Dick Button, one of the greatest skaters of all time. How about that? Oh, and here... There's Tab Hunter. Hey, now I know. You want all the boys and girls out there to know that Tab Hunter and Dick Button are going to be in the musical adaptation of Hans Brinker or the Silver Skates to be color cast tomorrow on the Hallmark Hall of Fame on NBC. Kids, I know that you won't want to miss this great, great show. Well, you know, I... Well, look at little Kokomo there. Well, what's he got? Kids, here comes Kokomo Jr., and I think Dave Garraway sent him here. But well, what's he got there? Hiya, Kokomo buddy. What have you got? Well, let me see this. Come over here, Kokomo. Hey, what do we got here? A howdy doody. Play it, play it, Kokomo. Here. Hey, buddy. Hey, Coke. Come here, Kokomo Jr. Sit down, play it. Come here. Would you like to play it? Go ahead. You didn't know that he could play ukulele, did you? Huh? Now, you don't clap. We're supposed to clap for you. Oh, well, look, sis. Sit around like this. Here, come on. You sit around like this, Coke. Atta boy. Now, now, you sit and play your ukulele. Go ahead, play it. Go on. What chord is that? Does anybody know? Oh, that's a D flat seven. <laughs> what is it? All right, well, Kokomo, I, I'll tell you what I think Kokomo wants us to know, kids, that he has... Oh, come back with it. Hey, buddy. I think Kokomo wants me to tell all you boys and girls. Bring it back here, Kokomo Jr. Come here, buddy. Come here, Kokomo. Kokomo. -ho. I think he wants me to tell you kids that Kokomo has a howdy doody ukulele for every one of you boys and girls in the peanut gallery right after the show. All right, thank you, Kokomo Jr. Say hello to Dave Garraway, and we'll be seeing you on today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. Well, now, remember, boys and girls, before, when I said that the grand prize winner of the Howdy Doody Smile Contest will be here on the Howdy Doody Show next Saturday. I want you to know that all our judges are very busy counting up all the ballots, and the one with the most votes, of course, will be our grand prize winner. Now, kids, who will the grand prize winner be? Will it be... Alan Walter, or Tammy Merrihew, or Charles Choby Ebbets, or Andy Abrams, or Dutch Norman, or Nancy Joe Clapp, 
or Trudy Donovan, or Dolores DeVia, or Kathy Irby, or little Charles Woods. Well, kids, I don't know. Nobody knows. But next Saturday, you'll be sure to be watching, because then the votes will have all been counted, and you're going to see our grand prize winner right here. Yes, and not only that, you're going to see our grand prize winner win all these wonderful prizes first. Aha, look there. A 21-inch color television set by RCE Victor. Isn't that beautiful? And next. Look here, kids, a complete set of the Encyclopedia Britannica. And also... A fine con electric organ. Listen to this, kid. Good, huh? And that's not all. Look here. Hey, how about this? An Evinrude five and a half horsepower outboard motor called the Fisherman. Plus, uh -huh, look there. A pair of these Missolite fiber glass water skis. Plus, look at this picture, kids. This Duratec B12 aluminum boat and the Teeny trailer. Yes, sir, a complete boating outfit that the whole family will enjoy. And in addition to all of this. The grand prize winner will be sent on a three-week tour of the United States with Clarabelle. And next week, of course, we're going to tell you more about just where that tour will be so that all you boys and girls can make plans to see our buddy Clarabelle and our grand prize winner. Well, boys and girls, back to our, uh, our howdy-doody shrinking machine. You know, kids, it uh, looks like I'm going to have quite a time with that shrinking machine. Oh, boy, that's right, Buffalo Bob. It's a good thing the rest of the gang in Dutyville doesn't have that problem. Hey, you're right, but howdy, boy, as a matter of fact. You know, the thing that all the boys and girls in Dutyville do have to watch out for is getting enough of the right vitamins, minerals, protein, and energy to grow big and strong. And that's why we all eat lots of Wonder Bread with all our meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ah, you're so right, howdy boy. Thank you, Clarabelle, and say, kids, now you too should eat lots of Wonder Bread. Because you know Wonder Bread gives you the vitamins, the minerals, the protein, and the energy. And it's so good for you that it helps build strong bodies 12 ways. And you know, boys and girls, Wonder Bread is not only very, very good for you, but it makes the most delicious sandwiches, the most delicious toast that you have ever had in your life. Now, if you have Wonder Bread at all your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it'll help you grow big and strong. So, kids, make sure that you eat the bread that's Howdy's favorite, the bread that all of us eat here in Dutyville. So, kids, you ask Mom right now to start getting Wonder Bread, the wonderful bread with the red, yellow, and blue balloons printed on the wrapper. Now, boys and girls, back to our story. Now, you know Howdy had invented this shrinker. I had become 205 pounds. I wanted to get back to my normal weight of 175 pounds. So I set the dial at exactly 175 pounds. I crawled into the shrinker, and neither did Howdy or I know that Pesky had fooled around with the shrinker. Set the dial way down to about 30 pounds. And so, kids, instead of the dial being set at my correct size, it was set for this size. Well, there's the machine, Clarabelle. Guaranteed to make you smaller. And, oh, no, 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 Clarabelle, don't open it. Don't you see Buffalo Bob is in there now, and he's not done yet. You'll have to wait your turn. What? You don't want to, but... Oh, but you ought to try it, Clarabelle, because you're out of shape. You just wait and see how good Buffalo Bob will look when he comes out. Yeah, you just remember, Bluster. From now on, I'm the boss around here, see? Oh, sure, sure. All right, I understand. As long as I get my watch back. Ah, what are you worried about? I'll get it back for you. I'll just simply take it away from that howdy, that's all. You will? Yeah, who's going to stop me, I'd like to know? Buffalo Bob? Little teeny-weeny Buffalo Bob. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just blow him down like this. <laughs> Okay, Clarabelle, now the five minutes will be up in just a few seconds. Uh-oh, there it is. Okay, look in the back now, and you'll see the new Buffalo Bob. 
Hey, howdy. Howdy, boy, yeah. look. Well, Bob, well, what happened to you? I don't know. Something went wrong. Howdy, look at me. I'm no bigger than you are. Now, I know that I set that machine correctly on that dial down there. Oh, dear. What's the matter, Clarabelle? Ten pounds. So that's it. Howdy, boy. Somebody changed the dial setting. Well, howdy, boy, you better think of something, baby. You better get me back to my normal size, and then we'll find out who did this. Oh, golly, boy, I, I don't know how to make you bigger. You don't? Well, howdy, this is a terrible fix, so... Well, 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 hello there, little Tom Thumb. Oh. Or, or should I say, Tom Dumb? You, <laughs> huh? It must have been you who fooled around with that machine. Yeah. Well, of course it was. Who else would be smart enough to pull a cute little trick like this? Yeah, you well, look, Tusky boy. Uh, you won't get away with this, buddy, uh, believe uh, me. Uh, now, watch it, little buffalo barber. If you're not yeah, careful, you I'll just put you in my back bucket. Oh, uh, that's smart. Well, look, Pesky. Yeah. I might be small now, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm still not afraid of you. Oh. And I'll find some way to get back to my normal size, believe me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll just have to find that way right here in this room, because what? I'm locking you characters in. Wait a minute, no. Yeah, come on, Clarence. Get going out. Get going out. Wait a minute, hey. Hey, trust me, no. Have a good time in here, fellas. I'm locking you in. Oh. No. <laughs> Howdy. How are we going to get out of this one, buddy? Well, huh? Gee, Buffalo Bob, there's another key to the door that Pesky doesn't know about. Yeah, but, where is it? But it's way up there on that shelf. Oh, no. Over there. I can't reach that high. Well, I can't either, Howdy. I, I can't even jump down. I'm too high. I... Well, I certainly pity the folks in Dutyville now that Pesky's taken over. Howdy, boy, I'll tell you one thing. We've got to think of something. <laughs> All right, little Clarabelle, I feel like a little entertainment. They say that you're a very good dancer, so dance. Dance, I said dance, I'll make you dance. <laughs> Adam, you dump, you dump, you dump, do. I say you're so good. Oh, 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 what's going on here? Huh? Hey, Chief, this is a dance contest, oh. see? And you're in the dance contest. Do an Indian dance. Oh. Come on, oh, come start on, dancing. Oh, oh stop it. Now I'm going to tell Bubba Bob on you. That's all right. First, you'll have to get a magnifying glass oh. to find him. <laughs> come on, oh, dance, dance. Oh, 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 Bob, what can we do to get out of here? I don't know. Hey, maybe we could signal Mr. Cobb from the oh, window no, here. No, huh? Bob, you see, yeah. Mr. Cobb's house is on the west. The west. And this window faces the east. Yeah, that's right, the east. The east. <laughs> Howdy, that's the answer. The east. Well, I don't Yeah. Uh, you say the east? Yeah, yeah, east, not E-A-S-T, east, like north, south, east, but the Y-E-A-S-T, east. Like you use in baking Fasnacht Kikli and things. Look, it, it, it makes bread rise. Now, look, I happen to have this little a cake of yeast here in my pocket. And howdy, look. If yeast can make bread rise, maybe it can make me rise. I, to my normal height, I mean, huh? Oh, well, golly, buddy, try it. What have we got to lose? Howdy, we've got nothing to lose and everything to win. Howdy, boy, here I go. I'll get back into this shrinking machine, and we'll see what happens. Let's just hope that it works. Hey, howdy! It worked! Howdy, buddy, look! Boy, thank heaven if you're back to your normal yeah. size. I'm glad I thought of the east. Hey, now for the key, Howdy. There's the key. Now I can reach it. Now, you stay here, and I'll take care of Pesky, believe me. You watch. I... Oh, he's here. And my thumb, oh, he's no bigger than my thumb. Oh, do 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 Well, hello, little Howdy. do 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 Where's little Buffalo Bob? Is he hiding on big old Betsy? 
Little hey. Buffalo Bob is right here. Hello there. Oh, yeah, what the yeah. You big. Uh, you get and little Pesky is no, taking a big I, walk out of duty. Now, get going. Come kidding. on. Now, don't, don't do that. Don't come back. I don't back. like that. Now, don't do Howdy, that. Howdy, I'm going to make sure that he leaves town for good. Oh, come on, Pesky. Little Buffalo Bob. Wait, come on. Come on. Come on. Now, Carmel, please stay away from that machine, buddy. Oh, gosh, I'm going to get rid of it so it'll never cause trouble again. Yes, boys and girls, and that's the story of how I became Tom Thumb for a while. But thank goodness, kids, everything turned out okay. Well, you know, boys and girls, I... Oh, hi, Carmel. Hey, wait a minute. Well, where are you going with that lunchbox? Are you going to school? Oh, you're getting ready for school. Well, that's great. Well, now, look, Carmel, if you're getting ready for school, here. Here's a swell dessert that you can take along with you. A package of two big hostess Twinkies. And I... What? I... Oh, kids, look here. Clarabelle has his whole lunchbox just filled with hostess Twinkies. And kids... Hostess Twinkies are one of the most delicious desserts we've ever had here in Duty Bell. And they come two in a package, two big ones. Oh, yes, you're so right, Hottie. Look here, kids. You know, these Hostess Twinkies are really terrific. The delicious sponge cake fingers just melt in your mouth like cotton candy. And see here. Inside every Hostess Twinkie, there's a smooth cream filling that's really out of this world. Well, boys and girls, I know that you're all going to really love Hostess Twinkies as a dessert, for your lunchbox, or as a between-meal snack. And say for something really extra special, you ask Mom to serve Hostess Twinkies with ice cream or fruits. So kids, you ask Mom to buy some Hostess Twinkies the next time she goes to the store. And you know, boys and girls, in lots and lots of stores, you'll find Hostess Twinkies on a swell stand like this. You ask Mom to look for the picture of the hostess lady inside the heart. It's on every hostess counter display. And now, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye, goodbye until next Saturday when we'll all be with you again. Say, kids, you know Valentine's Day will be here soon. So you'll be with us next week when Mr. Bluster receives a very beautiful valentine from a mysterious woman. Kids, you won't believe this, but Bluster falls in love. We'll see what happens next week. But right now, boys and girls, make sure you stay tuned for the Rough and Ready Show, which follows on most of these NBC stations. And now, sing it, howdy boy. And so, so long till Saturday one week. Say, boys and girls, now when you hear the church bells ringing this weekend, well, that's to remind you to enjoy one of America's great, great freedoms, the freedom to worship, the way you wish, any time, any place. And so, kids, for Howdy and me... You tell Mom you'd like to go to Sunday school. Right. Or to your place of worship. Like So long, kids. See you next Saturday. Bye, kids.